Hey guys, welcome to my video, and today I'm going to show you how to use the replay mod, which I've got on right now, so you can see it says start recording. So obviously make sure you have the replay mod installed, but now all you need to do is when you want to start recording your footage, you go over to here and press that button. So I'm going to be showing you how to work with this footage and make time lapses and whatnot. I'll just quickly record something now. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I built this little house behind me. Uh, it's not the best thing, it's very tiny, but now I can stop recording. And all we have to do is save and quit. Now you'll see it saying in the corner, save replay file. That's just going to take a moment. Okay, now it says done. I like to rename it just so I can be more organized or whatever. So you want to click this thing, which is replay viewer. Go over to it and rename. I like to be organized, otherwise I panic. So that was only three minutes long. We can load this up, so click your replay you want to do. Click load. And so I'll show you how keyframing works so you can get a good video of your progress. So what you want to do is you can press B, and B brings up spectate player if you can't find where you are. So there you go, you're now in yourself. So you can crouch to get out of that, press the crouch button. Then you just fly around and you can control your speed with the scroll wheel. And you want to press T to bring your mouse up. So T brings your mouse. I just, P is play and pause, but I just click that. So I want to find, it's really hard to go backwards in this footage. Uh, it takes a while to load going backwards, but I'm going to find here, which is where I started building. So you just want to press T to get your mouse up, add time keyframe here and here, just both of those, press them down. And then I'll go all the way to the end. So this is just how you do a basic time lapse. I'll go all the way to the end when I finish the house, and here we go. I'll, then all I have to do is move a little bit. So when you're pressing T, if you press escape, you go back to this. So I move a little bit, I can turn, press T again. And this won't make a timeline. So this is going to be in this bit. You want to go to the bottom. This is like the timeline of your actual video. The top one's like the timeline of what you did in game. So you want to go all the way back if you want it to be a, a quick sped up one. And make it like say let's make my build in five seconds or seven seconds i move it to seven seconds on this one but i'm still all the way over here in the actual real game time and i can just add the time keyframe so if i go back to if i bring this over here if i press play it will show me um what i've done and then we can render that out okay there's a bit of lag when i'm doing it like this but yeah that's pretty good i showed off the house maybe i'll move I'll get rid of these, I'll move a bit more to the side so you get, and down as well. And I'll put the keyframes there. But that's all you really need to know for like basic time lapses. You just move around, add the time keyframes in the right place on this bar, and it'll make a little time lapse of from here all the way to there. So it's three minutes done in seven seconds. Now all you need to do is click render path. So you render camera path over here. Uh, I like to have all of these settings on. I don't render name tags, I don't really want to see my character's name tag. I haven't messed with any of these, but if you want, you can just keep them the same as what I've got here. I'm going to change the name of this. Save. And now we can click render. And it will render. Look at this. Uh, here we go. It's got this many frames. You can click show preview. It slows it down a bit. But this is basically the video they're making. I'll show you how to add shaders to this as well, but this is only if you have Optifine as well, which you can't actually get with Replay Mod, but there's ways around it where you can use Optifabric. There's a few other mods, but I use Optifabric. But you can find tutorials on how to get that. But there we go. I rendered that, and here's the final product. Okay, so now I'd want to render this with shaders. All you have to do is go into Video Settings, Shaders, this is if you have Optifine as well, and you'll have your shaders. I'm not going to show you how to get this stuff, but if you have Optifine or Optifabric and you have your shaders installed, just go into video settings and choose a shader. I'll use BSL. I really like it. It's quite bright and vibrant. So now, ooh. Ooh, it's a nice sunset. Whoa, look at that. That's pretty. Okay, now we can just do the same thing. It'll probably take longer to render with shaders on. And render that, and it will render it with all the shaders on, so it'll look much nicer, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah, here it is, the preview, and it's all sunny and bright, and it was really easy to just turn shaders on. You don't need to record it with shaders, you can just add it extra in replay, so if your computer can't handle shaders, like while you're playing the game, you can just add it in after it, it'll be fine, it'll just take a while to render, but you can leave that while you're doing other stuff. 
So this is a super useful program for making videos like this. I really hope this tutorial helped you out. I'll show you the final product for this as well. There we go, it's done. But yeah, that was the tutorial. I'm actually just making this right now in real time. I'm not doing an actual outro where I look around like that. Oh, I don't know what I just did. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this really helped you out making your videos. Let me know if you want any other advice in the comments. I'm happy to answer questions. And please subscribe if this helps you out. Also, yeah, you can like check out my other Minecraft stuff. I do a lot of other Minecraft videos at the moment. And I'm really enjoying it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.